Um, gosh, what else we got going on? Should we talk about track Trackmania? Mania. Track Mania. Track Mania is out tomorrow. Mania. Yeah. Big track Mania truck is here and it's backing up into the yeah, stage. We're backing was, up the Track Mania dump truck. I was saying that. I was literally in my head thinking, like, okay, what else besides Track Mania is there? <laughs> should, we just, should we just do it? Uh, do it. Uh, track Mania is out tomorrow. Mania. And uh, I've been playing it for the past week and a half or something like that now. Um, have they had like servers up? I mean, it's kind of a live game, right? Or how is that? It's, like, it isn't, it isn't. I mean, it's always had like, uh, in, in the past games, you know, the games have always had like their single player campaign tracks. And then, you know, when you get online, it's all the user made tracks and all this other stuff. And, and so it, it's still that they also kind of seeded, uh, it seems like they seeded the community or, or are making maps on their own or whatever. Cause there's, there's a bunch of user maps and some user made skins and, and stuff like that. Here's the short version of Trackmania. I think it is a better game, uh, and I think they have found a way to make the menus even worse oh, <laughs> hell uh, yeah. than it than they have been in the past. Aren't and bad I, menus a, a hallmark of Trackmania? No, it's no. <laughs> or, is uh, it just, or is it just the fonts? It's the, it's the, it's the, it's really, I mean, when we joke about Trackmania and, and it's look or whatever, it's the UI around the edges yeah. on a multiplayer server, but all that stuff is a mod. None of that stuff, like Trackmania has always been a very clean okay. game U, UI wise when you're playing it. Um, but you know, a lot of the times when you're, when you're playing on people's servers, there's some custom kind of, uh, server components that people like to use that, that add a lot of different time tracking and, and checkpoint tracking and, and all this other stuff. And you end up with a very cluttered HUD, and that's yeah. that is Trackmania to me, uh, and I like that stuff. But um, <laughs> so in the past, Trackmania has had a server browser, and now it doesn't. Ooh, what? And it, how do so you they've, find servers? They've they've moved to this, and, and part of it's uh, this is it's it's really complicated. So there uh, there are three different versions of the game. There's a free-to-play version, there's a $10 a year version, and a $20 a year version. Um, and so they haven't really done that in terms of a subscription or, or whatever before. Um, but it makes sense in the context. We talked about this back when we were you know, talking about the last build of it that I played. Um, that they've, they've kind of created this tiered system. And the general breakdown there's a gigantic chart of just like what you can do in each version. And it corresponds to like all the menus of the game and all the stuff that you, if, but if you haven't played that game and looked at those menus, you look at it and go like, I don't know what any of this is because right. they've changed a lot of the verbiage. They've, they've, they've changed a lot of different um, things about it to where like, and it, it, it makes sense, I guess is, is the point. So like the, the full club tier version, the expensive version is the one you want to get. If you want to be in a club, if you want to host a server, you want to be on that tier of the game. If you just want to play it, if you just want to connect to servers and do your thing, mm -hmm. the the $10 a year version, which the type of updates that they're going to put into that game quarterly, I, I think will likely justify that price and then some. When you think about how they've charged for Trackmania from different environments and stuff like that before, like I think that this is just a slightly different way of breaking that down in a way that will be uh, not a big deal. I think you have people that are going like, I can't believe they turned this into a tiered subscription product. It's like, well, no, once you play it and you look at that stuff, if you, if you break down what they're charging for and how they're charging for it, it's very, you just kind of look at it and go like, okay, I, mean, but to, I see, I see why they would to do be clear this. though. There is no way to just own this game, right? No, but, uh, it's a game that they're going to update with a track of the day every single day. They're going to take one user made map and make it track of the day that day. Every quarter, they're going to add another single player campaign to it. They talk about adding new blocks and different types of things for track editors to use over time. So it's, they're supporting the, the game, assuming they follow through on all of this stuff. They're supporting the game at a, at a higher level than they have in the past uh, with the Mania Planet stuff. Like that was a case where they just sold a $20 game and then later on came out with another $20 game and then another $20 game uh, that added different environments and this sort of stuff to it uh, all in the same Mania Planet framework. So in a lot of ways, the way that they're kind of building this track mania alleviates some of that stuff where they won't have to come back and sell a different game. It'll be like, hey, if we want to justify to the people that write the checks that we want to keep working on this game, uh, then this is a way for us to get it out there and, and, and get it in front of people. And the other thing is like they they 
they have done terribly and messaging this stuff and what it all means because it is just this big messy chart um but the they got out there and said like well it's not a subscription it's like you're buying the game again which is nonsense but Ooh, yeah. the reason they're saying that is because when you're like subscription when your year with the game is up you keep all the stuff that came out while you were there so like all those campaign tracks, all the other stuff, like you keep access to all of that stuff, the advanced version of the editor, like all. So I think that's what they were getting at. I think they just didn't find a clean way to message it. And it's not like, you know, it's certainly not anyone else's job to clean up their messaging, uh, at least not that doesn't work for Ubisoft. Um, I think they did a really bad job with explaining why they changed it and what they changed. Um but after spending a lot of hours staring at it and then going back to their chart and looking at it, it's almost more like a, a battle pass or season yeah. pass type thing or, or like. yeah, or, or something along those lines where you just look at it and go like, okay, this is a free to play game that you can, you can put money into oh, if you want to. Okay. I completely had lost the plot here. I thought you had to pay at least the 10 bucks no. to play it at all. No, oh. the, there is a, there's a base version of the game okay. that, that is free. Okay. Um, and, and they've done that in the past as well. And, and the, some of the limitations around that is also similar to what they've done in the past sure. in terms of, of what you can what you can access as a free player. I mean, I, I have to I have to say that in my mind, Trackmania is one of the last holdouts that's like a throwback to that Lucy Goosey Quake 3 era of just like, here's a fat list of servers with pings on them. <laughs> like you can. Type, yeah, you can just type an IP in and connect to it. And like, so hearing now it's even hearing if they got rid of some of that stuff is kind so, of so you can still do that. You can still host your own dedicated server. Um, but, and, and but the, and some of the other reasons why they might charge more of the more, more for the, like, the club tier of the game is because they're also letting you run servers on their hardware or, or basically like, so, there's a concept of a room. Any player at the club tier can create a room. You can take tracks that you made, other people made, whatever, throw them together, and you're ba it's basically a server. They call it a room. Uh, and you choose how that room gets hosted. If you want to host that server yourself, there's a way to do that. But if you want them to host it, you can do that as well. And basically mm -hmm. what it'll do is if no one is connected to that room, it'll spin down. So if you're, if you're connected to that room and you're the first player in and it's been inactive for a while, it'll pop up and say spinning up the server and it'll launch a server in, in some rack somewhere and will let, then let you play with up to a hundred other players or whatever on that. So at that club tier, you can effectively host any, any player at that tier can host a bunch of servers. They can create a bunch of different playlists in their rooms, name them, whatever, do all this different stuff. But if you're using their stuff, you're using the vanilla basic experience, no server mods. As far as I can tell, Ooh, no share. Um, no share, no custom ah. music, like like that sort of stuff. Um, and, and this is all theoretical because the game's not out yet, and, and I haven't really seen a lot of dedicated servers. But I did connect to one that was running Evo SC, which is one of the server controllers, um, one of the custom-made things. And it, it started to have all some of those HUD elements around the edges. And, and in the map editor, you can add custom music on a per-map basis there like you always could before. And so like the bits and pieces of Trackmania are all still there. They've just renamed all of it. And, and on top of that, they haven't really made a good way to... Like you can't favorite a server anymore. Oh, odd. You used to be able to just get a list of just like, here are the five servers I care about. And now it's just this big list of, of rectangles with room names on them that just scroll all the way down. And they seem to be in the order of the most popular or the ones that were most recently accessed or, or they something have like to that. Change that, right? They have it, to add maybe, a way to favorite. Ser that seems like the most basic thing to do is you like could have join, a list of favorite servers. So every room is attached to a club. And you could join that club and then you could look at your clubs and see all the rooms attached to that club. It's just like the front end UI is just a fucking mess. And uh, and I'm trying to figure out if they, like, like it doesn't feel like they made that stuff easier. It, to, mm -hmm. if, it, is it Also, it doesn't show anywhere on the rectangle. It, it doesn't like explicitly say, yes, there are players here. Um, so playing the game pre-release when most of the servers are empty... Uh, it's this feeling of like, oh, I caught one other person on the server. That's cool. Um, and I, I just think that they, it like, the front end is very bizarre. When you think about Trackmania, like having a server browser and and being like 
at least mostly straightforward when it comes to just connecting to a game and going like, oh, I want to connect to this this server and, and all this other stuff. Like they've made that stuff a little more obfuscated. I think once the game is out and, and for people that don't necessarily care about connecting to a specific server, they just want to get on and, and do whatever. I, I don't think it'll be a huge problem, but it's just a it's a bizarre change, I guess. Um. And the good news is, I think, you know, like the the new blocks in the map editor and all other stuff, like some of the tracks I've seen are, are really great. Like, I think from a gameplay perspective, this is uh, a hell of a track mania game. I think they've they've done a really good job at um, they added like boosters. And basically, that'll like, you know, jets come out of your fucking wheels. And so right. the the cars can kind of hover and glide. Um, or if you. Sometimes you can get a boost down that will kind of stick you to the ground, which will let you drive up walls straight and do some different stuff that way. Um, and so I think that those are like pretty awesome uh, additions or or ways to kind of do some of the stuff that they did in Trackmania Turbo, where you can kind of just like defy gravity, like having those boosters kind of lets you do some of that stuff. Um, and so like I, you know, I'm I'm pretty thrilled about it. Like I'm I'm pretty into it and I've made a club and I've started down that path to, to do all that stuff. And, and I hope we see a star Wars Metallica map <laughs> on it. it. It'll do all that same shit. It, you know, all of that, that same crazy stuff seems like it is very doable. This is still rooted in the track mania Two slash mania planet style of game and options and all that other stuff. Whereas track mania turbo was like a, a way more locked down and built for consoles and and didn't really allow you to do like the things you want to do with Trackmania, or things I want to do with Trackmania. Um, and and so it still has all of that. That said, um, it has a bunch of training tracks, but never explicitly tells you what the boosters do, or or, or gives you like I think adequate instructions about how to control the cars and 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 all that other stuff. And, and I think they could be better at kind of getting new players into the fold and, and kind of letting them learn the the nuance of it. They, they just throw these training tracks at you and you can do them or you can not do them. But at the end of it, I didn't feel like I quite had a firm grasp on the flight stuff. It's still weird. Um, or that the idea that like, if you hit the brakes in the air while you're kind of tilting, it'll, it'll lock your rotate. It'll stop your rotation, huh. you know, like which has been a track mania thing for a long time. But like, just put a tutorial in it for people you know like it, it's it's 2020 like <laughs> we should we should want that out of games um to to let people understand the things they can do and, and uh i wish that they had gone a little bit further on some of those aspects of the game because uh, that stuff feels kind of the same but like also they've patched it like a handful of times over the last week and um and already solved like so when you start a club it just <laughs> when you customize a club it just pops up like nine different spots where you can upload images and doesn't really tell you what any of them are for or what the the restrictions on the images were or anything like that it just said like <laughs> uh this is your background this is a sponsor logo 16 by one this is an eight by two this is a this and i'm like i don't know what the fuck any of this means the patch I downloaded this morning actually adds a line of text to the bottom of the screen over those that says where those go and says like these need to be DDS files or pings or something. Um, See, they're learning. They're yeah, they're getting there. Like, and obviously, um, it's completely reasonable to expect things like tutorials, but at the same time, I feel like Trackmania has always existed in this like <clears throat> borderline alternate universe yeah. where they <laughs> they don't care about or maybe not even aware of like modern game design standards. Sort of, but like yeah, I, I don't. You're right, but also like I, I think that they could just do better uh, with, with that stuff when it comes to, to getting new players in the game. They've got a a, a game that is f you know the launching as a, as a free edition and all this other stuff, and so there's the potential to expose a lot of new players to it right out of the gate instead of doing a a free version down the line or or, or whatever. And that's my uh, thing. Like I feel like I've always appreciated Track Media from a distance. It's one of those games of like. Oh, I, I could get into this, but I don't really want to like buy it because I know that like there's a pretty high chance that I'm going to play it for three to four hours and never play it again. But if it's <laughs> free, that gets me in there. That gets me like my hands on it. And maybe I maybe I love Trackmania. You know, maybe this is the game to show me I actually love it. But with a lot of the stuff you're talking about about the like 
I guess user experience around it. It's kind of, kind of like a problem. It's just yeah, it, and I think that like it, that stuff's not insurmountable, right? Because right. it's kind of always been that way. So everyone who is good at the game at some point went through that stuff, and uh, you know, it, it is what it is. But I, but at the same time, I think it could be better on on that aspect. I think in game drive the, the driving the handling the state the way they've kind of tweaked the stadium model I, I think that the stuff they've done around dirt tracks ice tracks the weird raised Ooh. tracks like there's there's awesome stuff in there and i'm really really excited to see people get their hands on it in a wider way and start making more and more tracks because some of the like some of the user tracks i've seen over the last week um you know with the people that they've they've gotten the game out to early uh uh, there's just great stuff in there. So, you know, a, as the game gets out more widely and, and as more people start making stuff for it um, and seeing more ridiculous skins and, and all that stuff, like I'm, I'm really excited to kind of dive into it a little more deeply. Also like the, the, for whatever reason, I can't customize my horn. Like it's, no. like, no. <laughs> the, the option is there. It's just grayed out. And it says, at the top of my profile page, it says demo accounts can are limited in the types of customization they can do. Oh, okay. And it's like, okay, do I need to verify an email address? Because it also says I have the club tier version of the game. They limited the wrong customization. They need, do they need to patch <laughs> that? Is that something that they need to fix? Is yes. that something because the priority pages on the website haven't launched? So there's like it's questions like that where I'm still just like, fucking track mania man i don't know uh but i feel like eventually you know like that that option to customize the horn is there just grayed out so i, I figure i'm hoping to, as of tomorrow they'll patch it again or or what as the game comes out or, or or whatever the profile stuff will turn on in a way that it hasn't yet or or maybe my copy of the game will expire and it truly is some kind of weird demo that they sent out for a review i i have no idea um <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. It, it's interesting. The review embargo was up this morning, and it's one of those cases where, like, you, you know, reading the reviews and well, not not reading the reviews, but just kind of like thinking about the idea of reviewing that game right now before there's an abundance of users hosting servers and all that other stuff. Just seems like you're you're not seeing you are not seeing the real track mania if you if you ran a review this morning. Uh, I, I just don't think that that that's. I don't think it would, people would be able to, to truly see the whole game right now. Um, so I'm kind of waiting until tomorrow before I kind of do anything else with it, I guess. Um, the real track mania lives in our hearts. Exactly. <laughs> it, tr it truly does. Um, but yeah, no, I, I've, I, you know, I've, I've put a bunch of hours into it. I think they've done a real, a lot of really cool shit with ghosts and how uh, leaderboard chasing leaderboard stuff around the ghost races and stuff like that. I think they've done, really smart shit around that um and and built that out in in good ways um you know so it, it is it is kind of the same you know it, it's a track mania game you know it, it's it's very identifiable as they made a track mania game you're not going to look at it and go like this is what is this like you'll you'll know what it is right out of the gate um but it was always built as a remake of track mania nations so it was kind of always going to be that but i don't think you could fucking fly in track mania nations at least not this way um so yeah I, i'm i'm super fucking into it um and uh i i want to spend a lot more time with it uh cool. once it's out stay, and, i'm guessing stay tuned for more track mania on the side yeah yeah maybe not maybe not this week um just because the way the scheduling is working out but like yes i i, I will get on there and, and play some proper multiplayer uh once it's uh Populated. Once that's a once, yeah. Once it's more populated, for sure. Cool. Uh, I think it's I think it's rad. Cool. 